For the last couple of weeks, I've been on the Poland-Ukraine border, reporting on some of the humanitarian consequences of the war in Ukraine. Over the years, I've interviewed mothers from Congo, Palestine, Guatemala, Myanmar, and so many other places who were navigating the challenges of relying on foreign nations for safety. At a train station on the Poland-Ukraine border, Alonia, a mother of two, told me about hiding her daughters in the basement when shelling took place in her city, Sumy. It reminded me so much of my time on the Turkey-Syria border, when a grandma from Aleppo, um, Sammy described hiding the children in the bathroom each time bombs fell. And when I watched 13-year-old Zhenya from Ukraine draw a picture of the moment that he was separated from his father, I immediately thought of seven-year-old Antony, who I met on the Guatemala-El Salvador border. Antony drew me a picture of his journey across the Rio Grande River. He was separated from his mother for months before being reunited. It's too often vulnerable women and children who pay the highest price in times like these. And it's their stories that reveal the brutality of war.